Yo guys, how's it going once again? Magas here and for today's video I have an awesome tutorial for you guys so you can edit and mod Grand Theft Auto 5 PC yourself and you can change the skins on anything you want. Whether you want to be the character, change your character skin, change weapon skin or change the decals on a vehicle. Now for this tutorial I'm just going to run through a quick and simple one and that is going to be equip a quick weapon reskin. Now you will need a lot of tools for this and the tools that you mainly need are Open4 which is a GDA editor and I will leave the link in the description down below where you can download this and the next tool you're going to need is a texture tool preview kit. Now I'll leave the link to this one as well and you shall be able to follow all the instructions on the sites to make sure you install these correctly because there's a lot of few like different files that you've got to install that complicate the manner but it is quite simple once you get these two main files installed now there's a third file that you will need which is a, a container file which allows you to edit files in photoshop now i'll get onto that once we get round to the actual editing of a skin right so okay once you've got these two files downloaded what you want to do is you want to open up open four and once this is opened up, just select GDA5 Windows version. Right, and from here you will see you've got a lot of files. There's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. Lots of complicated stuff as well. Now, you can search for ages on here, finding different things that you want to change the textures of. Or you could simply click the little icon up here, which is the magnifying glass and two sheets of paper. And search for a weapon or a car anything in the game that you would like to try and reskin now first off I'm just going to do something simple so I'm going to select bat now a textured file for GTA 5 is a dot ytd file so bat dot ytd should bring up all the textures for a baseball bat inside the game and when I press enter it should search right now now you see it's bringing up all the different textures for the game Okay, so some of this is kind of just a bit of trial and error which texture pack is the most updated one and which one is the one that the game is going to use in game. If you're having problems selecting one, just only when you come to update your texture, just update all of them. But for this one, I'm going to select this one because I know this is the latest one 3NG, that's 2NG. The other two are backups, and this one is the main model which we are not going to use. But yes, we are going to use this one here. This is Bat YTD from. A DLC pack patch day 3NG. So what you want to do is go to file and this will load up back again into open MV, open 1V, sorry. And then you see we have wmebat.yt. And what you want to do is click on edit mode up at the top here and click yes on that. So now edit mode is enabled so you can now edit these files. And simply all you want to do is right click and go on to extract, select the folder where you want to distract to. And I will just create a folder, a new folder on my desktop for this. This is easy enough done. And once that's downloaded, you will see you go to your new bat skin file. We now have the file wmebat.ytd. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to open up this file and view the texture of it using this texture tool preview kit. So load up this and load up texture tool. Okay, and once the screen is loaded, click on file, load a new file, and you want to locate the bat file that we already have downloaded and stuck in our new bat skin. And this is the WME bat file there, which is the texture file. Open that up and you'll see three texture formats, or sorry, three texture files. The first one is what I believe is the reflection skin. So you don't really need to change that. The next one down should be the main skin of the baseball bat. I'll drag that a bit bigger so you can see. Now that's the main skin of the baseball bat, the one that we are going to change. And this next one here is, I'm not entirely sure it is, maybe just for the shadows and stuff. So you can leave that one as, as is, or you can try and delete these areas or whatever. But for quick, simple stuff, I'm going to show you this one, which is the middle one, WM Bat. And what you want to do is then have this one selected, select Edit and Export. And simply just export it into the folder, and you'll notice it saves as a DDS file. Now once you save that, go back into our folder, and we now have the wambat.dds. 
Now, this is where you need to download a new plugin for Adobe Photoshop or whatever program you're using. So just go into Google and search for how to open DDS files in Photoshop and you will get a link. I'll st also, I'll leave a link in the description down below, which will allow you to open these files in Photoshop. So once you've done that, what you want to do is click on this file. Oh, sorry, open up Photoshop. It makes it a lot easier if you open up Photoshop. And simply drag the DDS file into Photoshop. And all you want to do is click yes on this to accept it and use exact existing MIP maps. Not entirely sure what that is. And as you see there, guys, we have this image, but it's got a a big kind of like mirrored of image of the exact image. Now we're going to need to copy every one smaller, and it's exactly 50% size of the main image. So get straight into editing, and once you've edited a cool file, then we can copy it and make it smaller, and then we can show you, I'll show you how to upload this into Grand Theft Auto 5. And there we have, I've simply just colored the bat into a different kind of metal color and added my name to it, just something simple. And if you want to spend a little more time on this, then I'd recommend you do so. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge these down, copy them and reduce them by 50% and copy them behind one another. Right, as you can see now, I have copied the simple Mad Gaz baseball bat design that I've made up a few times. I haven't copied it all the way to the end, but I don't think it's totally necessary. I believe that this is kind of just what the resolution will look like from different views are in the game. So the higher up you go, the blurrier it will get, obviously it makes sense. But the further out you are, you're not really gonna see a great deal of detail anyway. So you can just leave that with copying it three to four times if you want. So once that's done, all you want to do is you want to go up to file. Sorry, first merge down the image, straight away merge down that image, flatten the image. Yep. And then file, save as, and now you want it since you've added now the new file container you now want to save it as a dds file and save it with alpha channels still switched on now i'm just going to save this over the top of that one there because i'm going to reload it straight back into the game so just click save on that yes we want to replace it and it will be brought up with these menus now you don't really need to touch stuff on here this is really complicated stuff i'm not quite entirely sure what to do so all you want to do is just click on save on that one and there you go, you have edited a simple baseball bat in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now what you want to do is push this back into the game. So now we have our file we have just created. We have this there, the DDS file, which is our newly created texture file for the game. And we need to inject that back into the actual texture location file we ripped from Grand Theft Auto 5 itself. So what you want to do now is open up the texture tool once more and you can see we still have the texture tool open up in the menu and we can still see the old textures the way they looked and what you want to do now is just select on the WAM bat the one we've edited go to edit import and select your new file that you've edited the one that we did in Photoshop click on open and you'll see now we have our simple bat those texts and um, images don't matter so much you'll see in game how much they don't matter but you can go really all out and edit these if you really want to but this is just a quick demonstration so now we see we have that and what you want to do now is quickly save it as something and we're going to save it over the top of the actual ytd texture file from grand theft auto 5 so we've got wma bat and save yes we want to replace it so now we're done editing our textures, we're going to now inject this back into Grand Theft Auto 5. So open up, open 1V, open 4 even, and we're going to do exactly the same as before. We're going to search for the location of the bat. Go to here, and we're searching bat.ytd, enter. Now remember the location of where you extracted the bat from originally which is the patch day 3ng go to the file location and what you want to do now is enable edit mode one final time yes right click and go to replace and now we're going to replace this with the bat we have created ourselves so wme bat.ytd open it and that is simply it disable edit mode and we are done now next thing is to test it and see if it works in Grand Theft Auto 5. Right guys, Grand Theft Auto 5 has now loaded up and I'm holding my very own 
special mad guys bat as you can see and if we go in first person mode there it is the mad guys bat that you see me create and it looks pretty sweet you can see the reflection of that other background that i was telling you about the texture that's just kind of like there's the reflective like surfaces and stuff it's not a massive letdown but you like i say you could spend a little more time touching it up but it's still cool let's just go bash somebody's head in real quick to show you the amazing strength of the mad gas bat oh and she be dead so guys if you like this video i appreciate it if you stick a like in it because it took me a while to figure out how to work these textures into the game and if you're new please subscribe comment down below if this doesn't work for you and i shall get back to you as soon as i can but i shall see you guys later